Hello YouTube, um, this video is going to show you how to use um, social media buttons and icons. They're really nice, um, make your website look professional, you can click on them um, and they can take you to whatever link you, um, you want to. Uh, and it's really easy to use, all you need is um, Bootstrap, which is a tool that makes uh, websites look nice, um, hold on. they look nice uh, on any platform like a phone, a tablet, or um, a desktop. Okay, um, the next one is Font Awesome, which is uh, the tool that uses all these icons. Um, they have a whole ton. Um, that's where I got the home icon. And the last one is uh, Social Buttons Bootstrap, which is uh, that's the one that makes the social media icons like these. Okay, so to uh, get started, you're going to need a, a workspace. So uh, I made a folder right here. Um, the first thing you need to do is make an in index.html file. It doesn't need to be named indexed, but it does have to have the file extension of HTML. Um, this will warn you it might become unusable, that's fine. Um, and notice that it has the Chrome symbol, and that's because Chrome is my default program for opening up um, HTML files. Um, it won't show anything, it'll just be a blank page because there's nothing in it. So you need to open it up with either Notepad or um, an HTML editor. I use this one um, because it it auto completes um, tags like that. It's really nice. But you can do this with Notepad. You I, you probably could do it with Word. I'm not sure. Um, okay. So the first step is you need a starting HTML file. Oops. So to do that, actually, we'll just get ours off the internet. Uh, search up template. Oops, not there. Okay, here you go. Um, actually, no. Here we go. This actually has um, some extra stuff we don't even need. So cop uh, copy that, save it. Um, you can leave all that stuff, I guess, that you can get rid of. And same with that. Okay, so I'm just going to post some text, and we're going to run the file, make sure it works. Um, in mine, for some reason, it uh, brings it to this page. I have to navigate to it. It's kind of annoying, but um, you sh yours should run um, automatically. And as you can see, you have uh, some text in this lovely font. Um, and to change that font, we can install Bootstrap, which is that tool that makes websites look nice on any platform. So go to Bootstrap, get bootstrap.com, getting started. And you can use the content distribution network, which is, um, it does it over the internet, I think. Yeah, because, um, yeah, if I unplug my internet, this would not work. So you paste that code into the head, these head tags, that's for, um, it gets its title, um, all the CSS files, etc. And we can rerun that file and it should, yeah, okay. It'll appear like that. Yeah, okay. So after you have that, the next step is to um, get Font Awesome, which is the icon tool. And you can download it. You have to, the oh, links downloaded. Actually, never mind. Um, I think I already, yeah. Okay, so you have to download it, and then you also need to. You have to put your email right there. They'll give you a JavaScript file, I think. That's what it is. And it will enable you to use it. Um, they probably just do that so they can email you whenever there's new updates and whatnot. So, go to my Gmail. Okay, yeah, so here is, oh wait, what, where is it? Here's the code that I was sent, um, just to open this back up. And you paste it again inside the head files. 
right there. Yours will look pretty similar. It might have a different code right here. Okay, and once you have that, you need to actually um, link the CSS files. So to do that, you need to um, I'll just download again. Go to your download folder, open up the zip, go to Font Awesome, and the only thing you actually need is ooh, which one is it? Um, I believe it's the miniature one. Yeah. Okay. So I'll just cut it, cut that, copy it. Now we get to your folder where you're working. I think that's pretty new. Okay, I'll do, that's okay. Okay, and make a new folder to keep organized. Name it, whatever. Doesn't really matter. And paste that font awesome dot, um, dot min dot CSS file. And to import that, do link um, rel style sheet. And that just uh, tells the Chrome that it's a CSS file. And then you import it with href. And again, with brackets, um, you can just click CSS, font awesome, and you'll notice it matches um, this file path as well. Okay, save that. And to test it, we go to font awesome, go to their icons, um, choose any icon, doesn't matter, go with an anchor, and copy this code right here. And make sure it's in the body. Paste it, save, and um, refresh that sample page that you had. And it should show an anchor right there. That's a bit small, right there. Um, you can change that by um, examples. I forgot the code real quick. Okay, right here. FALG, FA5X, we'll use this one so it's more noticeable copy it and where it says class equals this um, leave a space after the last class and oops not control a control s save it and it should appear a lot bigger yeah there you go okay the last step is to download this tool which is for social media buttons so you have to download it you don't need any special tools all you need is um this file right here. Copy it. Uh, <laughs> okay. Go to your CSS folder. Paste. And it will appear right there. And in your HTML file, you have to import it. Link rel. And again, it's a style sheet. And actually, hold on. Okay, I think this is right. CSS and bootstrap social. Save that. And here's some example code. This is a Twitter button. Um, actually, yeah, let's use this. That's okay. Copy that. Paste it in the body. And let's see if this works. Oh, right, it's over here. Okay, and you have this nice long Twitter button. Um, you can resize it using uh, divs and CSS, but um, for now, I'm just going to. This is a boot, boot, ah, bootstrap container. Control X, Control V. There, it doesn't take as much of the page up, but um, you can change that in CSS. And again, if you just want a button, you can um, copy this code. And instead of Twitter, let's use uh, Google. So anywhere you see Twitter, just change it to Google. Control S. And I think you can. 
I want to say you can increase the size the same way Font Awesome does it. So let's do. Let's try this. Is it there or maybe here? Oh, nope. Okay, I don't know how to resize it at the moment. That, that's okay though. So you refresh it and you click it, it doesn't do anything. That's because you don't have a target. So you have to go to the A tags right here. And this is the thing that actually does the linking, not this. This is the, uh, this is, I think, if you backspace this, this will be the button itself. Yeah, so it's the button, it's not actually the, um, oh no, okay, it's the V, that's what it is. Okay, so to do the link thing, we do href equals, let's try www.google.com. You notice um, href, same as um, right here, it's just a, a link file, and, ooh, Maybe we made a mistake. Ah, right, okay. Um, the full link is https um, colon and then forward slash uh, forward slash. Okay, that should work. You click it and it goes to google.com. But what if you want to keep users on your website instead of um, opening uh, in that link? So you click it and it opens up in a new tab. So to do that, um, you just do, I think, target equals underscore blank, so. Okay, yeah, right here. Copy this code. And go to, um, right after there. Okay. Finally, refresh that click it and it'll open up in a new tab and you can link these to um any any sort of link you want so you can do Obama's Twitter for instance or your Twitter doesn't matter um, all you have to do is copy that link and paste it right here control X and there you go that's all there is to it